Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Ezra Miller's Flash movie. We're going to talk about some more controversy. You know, Ezra Miller hasn't slapped another bitch or stalked <laughs> another child. We're going to talk about the director of the movie spoiling a major surprise cameo. So I just want to let you guys know we are going to spoil that cameo for you in this video. If you intend to watch this movie and do not want to be spoiled, do not listen to the rest of this video. What sucks is it makes me want to watch this movie more. And I'm also like, but I don't want to watch the movie because I don't want to courage them with Miller. But I also want to see the spoiler and Michael Keaton Batman. Yeah, so I think, I'll tell you the truth, I think this was deliberate. I think they're doing it to get more people interested in the movie. But the thing is, the movie's already tracking for a bigger opening than Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Again, not not Miller. He's not the draw. Oh, I'm sorry. They're, see, there's two of them. They, they are not the draw. What makes me mad is, you know, if, if, if Warner would be like, hey, you know what? After this film, Miller's out like everybody else. Yeah. People would probably go because they'd be like, okay, you know what? He's out. I'm sorry, they're out. No matter what, um, they're out. No way, so on. No matter what, so it's okay. But they won't do that. Yeah. So let's 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 talk about this. Um, it, it's really interesting. And yeah, it. I gotta tell you, as a as a nerd, I'm kind of like, shoot. I kind of want to see this, but damn it, Ezra Miller. So let's talk about it before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants if you do you'll get a woohoo woohoo and um yeah i think uh i think warner brothers execs were probably like what oh when the director of the movie uh, leaked this cameo again we are going to talk about the cameo if you don't want to be spoiled turn the damn video off i do not want to hear clownfish ruined it for me they're all right nazis I don't want to hear it. I don't, I don't want, want to hear it either. Um, so comicbookmovie.com says the movie is looking at 150 million opening weekend. Possibly. Well, between 115 and 140. Possible. Possible 140. And now when's this one come out? Next month. Next, yeah. Father's, oh, Father's Day. Day weekend. Father's right? Day so like weekend. like the 16th. So, you know, it still has time to go up or down now that this leak is out. I'm sure it's going to go up. All of these characters have daddy issues, too. <laughs> it's like, you know. So, um... Yeah, so this is coming out, and they did do a screening for it. We actually had one of our writers go to the screening of the movie. He said it was good. He can't do a review yet. It's been embargoed. Um, that being said, he said there was a major cameo that he was not allowed to talk about. It was stressed. Nobody was allowed to talk about it. But then the director just freaking talked about and it. And so he's mad because he's like, why tell us we can't talk about it then? Yeah, so let's talk about it. Again, last <laughs> morning. We're going to talk about it anyway, no? Last warning, very last warning. Okay, uh, Nicolas Cage is appearing in the movie as Superman. And I'm like, oh my God, are you kidding me? I love Nicolas Cage. So I'm just like, you know, yeah, I'm there just because it's Nick Cage. But, you know, if you, if you know the story, yeah, he was supposed to be Superman before. Yes, in Superman Lives. Yeah, this is, this is what could have been. This is a, a very infamous piece of forgotten shelved media. And uh, it was going to be directed by Tim Burton. Now, as as I understand it, this is not coming from our our writer, by the way. He hasn't told me anything about the movie other than he liked it. Yeah, we're not. He hasn't told us anything. No, but as I understand it from the plot leaks, they do go to the world of Michael Keaton's Batman. In Michael Keaton's Batman's world, there's no Superman because Superman has been captured, which is why we get Supergirl. But the Superman that has been captured, as I understand it, is probably Nick Cage, which would make sense because Nicolas Cage uh, wanted Tim Burton to direct the movie. So it mm -hmm. would have been another Tim Burton DC movie, and it would make sense to have this be the version of Superman that exists in the Batman world. But that contradicts the comics because they had Christopher Reeve Superman existing in Michael Keaton's Batman's world. Well, since when does it matter if it contradicts the comics or not? Uh, yeah. They have done nothing but contradict the comics in these superhero movies. It's, <laughs> all, it's all multiverse crap. But yeah, this never happened. And, it, you know, look, Nick Cage loves Superman. He uh, he even named his kid Kal-El, I think. And it's like, yeah, but he really wanted to be Superman. And he was doing really, really well then. He was a huge box office draw and it just but never I, happened. But I mean, not to be, not to be, I never thought he would be Superman. You know what I mean? It's not, like he doesn't strike me as a Superman type. Yeah. That being said. 
I love Nicolas Cage. I love a comeback. And I would go see that just for that reason. So they put this, they put a spoiler alert, but they put this right in the first paragraph. So, so it's going to show up anyway. Yeah. If, you, if you're looking at this on your phone, it's going to be like, oh. This just says to me, this just tells me that their numbers aren't where they want them to be. That's so they're desperately trying. They're leaking all the big things because they're trying to get people to come to see this movie. That's what I'm thinking. Um, it, it's very weird that because the, they did this before with, oh, Hey, yeah, all those those Spider Men and, and Daredevil, yeah, they're not going to be in, in No Way Home. Oh no, seriously, guys, they're not. Yeah, they are. Psych, psych. Everybody knew it. Everybody but you know, here's the thing. I think they're doing it because they want to raise the numbers in the movie. But like I, I said before, they want to get people into the, the film. The b- best thing they could possibly do is tell everybody that Ezra Miller is not coming back after this movie. Yeah, Ezra Miller dies at the end. Ezra Miller is not coming back as the Flash because you got rid of everybody else. Yeah. Um, you do that, and I think that people would actually come to the movie because they're like, okay, so you know, he's, they are in this movie, but moving forward, they will not be in the films, and this is setting up the new films. They might show up. That or they're just over DC because they the other movies suck so bad. I could be too. I mean, I could be because you know Shazam two and Black Adam did not mm-hmm. do well. So this is uh, coming from Variety. They spoil it right out of the gate. Michael Keaton isn't the only blast from DC's past in the Warner Brothers upcoming superhero Ten Pull the Flash. During an interview with Esquire Middle East, that's odd, the Flash director, Andy, is it Mushy Eddie? He's the guy who did It. I think he did the It movies. Uh, revealed that none other than Nicolas Cage is making a cameo in the movie as Superman. It's a shocking and full circle moment for comic book movie fans and Cage, who was cast in Tim Burton's failed Superman Lives 25 years ago. Nick was absolutely wonderful. He said, although the role was a cameo, he dove into it. He always does his best, like, in everything. Like, he he treats every role like it's, like, you know. <laughs> Even Willie's Wonderland. And no, he does, but he treats every Even role Willie's like Wonderland. it's, like, you know, you know the best role ever. You know what I mean? The role that he needs, you know, you know. Yeah. He I, does. Uh, I heard Pig was good, but sad. I don't want to see any sad. Um, anyway, he dove into it. I dreamt all my life to work with him. I hope I can work with him again soon. He's a massive Superman fan, a comic book fanatic. Yes. I did know that. Uh, Nick Cage fans know his love for Superman runs deep. Not only did he plan to play the superhero on Burton's failed project, he even named his son Kal-El. Yes, there yep. you go. Reference to Superman's name on his home planet of Krypton. So, yeah, my, again, I'm just putting the pieces together here. I have not seen the movie. I have not had the movie spoiled per se, but putting the spoilers together, I think they're out to try to save the version of Superman from Michael Keaton, if that's the case, it would completely make sense that it would be another Tim Burton Superman. But I'm with you. I mean, this 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 seems to indicate that this movie, the numbers are not where they want them. They're so they're tra- going to spoil the big reveal. Right. Like it could do 115 to 140. Oh, we can hit that 140 if we're like, hey, guys, you've been waiting 25 years. Hey, nerds. Hey, nerds. You've been waiting 25 years. To see Nicolas Cage as Superman, we're going to give it to you. And Michael Keaton, Batman. Yeah, Ezra Miller's in it. But, you know, Batman, Batman, Batman. I'm su- the reason I- I'm surprised that the, the numbers are that low for opening weekend, given that it's Father's Day. The only thing I could think of is people are tired of DC movies. They didn't like the other ones. Or Ezra Miller. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if, if there is going to. I mean, I'll be honest. I don't know if there's going to be an Ezra Miller effect. I mean, they've already come out and said they're kind of memory holing everything that Miller's done. And it's like, I mean, you want to talk about somebody that deserves to be canceled. A lot of times people get canceled for stupid shit, saying something stupid on Twitter or something that's not even stupid. You know, just people didn't like it. This guy has a rap sheet a mile long. Any other celebrity that didn't have the shield well, wait, but we had um, done. Jonathan Majors, and he's probably getting kicked out as Kang because yeah. he allegedly, you know, did the assault thing with his girlfriend in the taxi, and he's getting kicked out for that. But Ezra Miller does all this and bulletproof. He runs real fast from the wall. They run both, both of them. See, now that's that's yeah, right there, speed force. I don't know, but yeah, people if they go see this movie, if it's a if it's a hit. It's going to be because Michael Keaton and possibly now Nicolas Cage has nothing to do with Ezra Miller. I think most people are like, oh, God, Ezra Miller. They'll tolerate Ezra Miller. Even like the trailers. The trailers focus on freaking Batman. There's more Batman right. in the trailer well, than there like is Ezra Miller. Well, they a featurette, and it was all Michael Keaton Batman, too. And yeah. then now, now they're whipping out Nicolas Cage trying to get people to come to the theater. Oh, my God. Talk about nostalgia. I mean, this is like serious nerd nerd bait. And I might take I might take the bait. I'm ashamed to admit it, but damn it, I'm curious. 
That shouldn't be. But we should just so we could review it fairly. I should never be curious but, about Ezra Miller. But but I actually, you know, I was kind of like, okay, you know, I love Michael Keaton Batman, but. Mm. And then mm. you said, then you said Nicolas Cage. I'm like, shit. shit. Damn it. Shit. It's like, why can't they just Damn it. Out? I'd feel so much better about it if they just say, hey, by the way, Miller's out. And then they'd be like, okay, you know, now we know Miller's not going to be rewarded any for even if this movie does well. His rewards end. Their rewards end. I I'm sorry. There, were, that's a bad. We could picture. have had this. We what? all this could have been ours. What the hell? That was the test. The test shot. Yeah. That's, no, 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 yes. no, no, no. And our good pal Kevin Smith helped with the script. Oh. Yeah, and it got canceled. That makes me want to not go. <laughs> well, he, he supposedly he said something about like I, I remember the story. Like the the executives wanted Superman to be in street clothes fighting giant spiders or something like. Have you ever read a Superman comic book? Yeah, that doesn't like, make any sense. Not even. Just do the do the old uh, you know, cartoons from the thirties. Do that. Do that. Do that and That is like a very unfortunate photo. I mean, <sighs> I could have tried to make a photo that bad. Florida man busted at like Gator Con. <laughs> Sorry. Trying to Sorry, get to Mr. Cage. <laughs> Anyway, uh, hopefully he doesn't have the mullet, but I have I have a sneaking suspicion they'll 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 mullet him up just to just to play into the whole thing. Anyway, are we gonna are we gonna wrap it up? Yep. Yeah. So we'll see how the movie does. I, I does this make you want to go more or less? Let us know in the comments. Yeah. Maybe we'll read them. Maybe we'll read them. All right. Talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. Sorry, I, I yelled loudly. That's okay. I got I got the limiter on. Okay. So uh, you can tell my kick, setting. Yeah, you can you can so you can Wait, tell, really it automatically limits it when it, I yell. It does when you get when the pitch gets too high. It it <laughs> it does. When sometimes if you sound like all robotic, it's oh because it's, it's bringing the decibels down. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.